for a guy from Brockville, Ontario, Canada, who has been racing for 30 plus years, it's certainly been quite a ride. Or should we say rides for Randy Ritzkins. Randy has had what you might call a slew of car owners, including his father, and a vast selection of other super modifieds to compete in. Sitting out when he didn't have a good competitive ride, and jumping back behind the wheel when he did. 17-year-old Randy started racing dirt with a gentleman named Dave Hayslip, and his dad said if he could stay with it working on the car for a year, he'd get Randy a car. Randy fulfilled the promise and got his ride. He ran dirt in 1984 against Billy Decker for the Rookie of the Year title in the Small Block Modifieds and beat out the Franklin Flyer. After some time in the dirt ranks, Randy and his father decided to look for something different. They decided to try Oswego, although Randy had never been there before. Through phone calls, they found out Mike Muldoon was selling his car, which was a Bellinger copy. They went up to Mike's, got the car over the winter, put a body on it and put the sponsors on, and showed up in Oswego in the spring of 1988, not knowing anything about the car or the track. Randy won the Rookie of the Year title in 1988 and crashed a bunch, as he recalls, but said it was all just learning and getting to know people. And the next year, Clyde Booth had the 99 that Mike Ordway was running for sale, and Ritzkis bought the car. It was in Randy's second season of competition, 1989, that he won his first ever main event at Oswego Speedway, and the Bird Chevrolet 75 Lapper, passing Joe Gosick for the win. After three years of competition, the cost simply did not make sense traveling from Canada each week. Randy's dad finally said to go see if you can find a ride, and that's how they eventually hooked up with Skip Matzik. Randy ran with Skip for a few years, and then after Skip, he spent two years with Rocky Crusetti and then with Jeff West. In 1996, Randy got a ride with Eddie Shea in the 27 and ran with the famed car owner for four years through 1999. Randy then landed behind the wheel of one of the Paul Dunnigan cars, which were mainly for wing shows after Eddie Shea. But Ritzkis nearly won the Budweiser International Classic driving for Dunnigan. Ritzkis would then go on to spend a season with Steve Miller in 2001 before landing with Howie Lane in 2002. But it was with Randy Durant that Ritzkis returned to Oswego fame, winning Oswego main events and nearly claiming the 2011 Oswego Speedway track title. When Randy's tenure with Durant came to a close, he once again sat out, not wanting to just jump into any race car. And then came along the Locke family. Jeff Locke and his family always watched Randy when he drove for Ed Shea. Jeff was just a little kid then. Then Jeff grew up and went to North Carolina to work for an NASCAR crew. In the meantime, Ken Locke had established a successful business and asked Jeff to come back to New Hampshire where he started racing small blocks. Jeff moved on to Isma, but Kenny's dream was always to win at Oswego. Jeff, with a growing family, couldn't handle racing Oswego and Isma in the same season, so with a suggestion from Jeff, his dad Ken approached Randy to take the Oswego ride. They ran all of 2014 and won three features, fulfilling Ken's dream, and then some. Wendy has an impressive win total of 12 main event victories at Oswego and six with as much as show for his asphalt years. Randy resides within a half mile of Oswego Speedway and he works at SUNY Oswego. He has a son RJ who is 23 and a stepson Steven, 17, who is in college. Randy and his wife Debbie married in 2001 and Debbie works at the Speedway on weekends part time. Randy looks back on his many years in the sport and says that anybody I've driven for along the way basically has made us so many good friends. And that's what's cool about it. Congratulations to 2015 Oswego Speedway, Mitchell Speedway Press Hall of Fame inductee, Randy Ritzkins.